Hello everyone and welcome to this video about how to get inspiration for your art. I'm sure you're wondering right now why am I wearing a wig? Well, <laughs> well particularly this wig. Um, I thought it was quite fitting for this type of video because whether you know or not in my uh, artwork away from YouTube, I tend to be influenced a lot by not only art history but history itself. So I thought it would be quite cool, or maybe not cool but just fitting, that I should be wearing a wig. And also, actually this is a big secret, well it's not really a big secret, it's not even a very important secret, but I always wanted to, when I started my YouTube channel, I actually really wanted to do the whole channel, like sort of right from the beginning, in dressed as like a 18th century <laughs> portrait, but I didn't. Maybe I should start now. I don't know. What do you think of the wig? Is it terrible? Is it evil? Do I scare you? Or is it good? Uh, let me know what you think. Also, thank you so much to everyone for your amazing comments. I am getting back to everyone as soon as I can. I'm just being a bit slow, but then that's nothing new, right? So the number one, I find this is quite an obvious one, but definitely important, a really great way to get inspired when you're out and about and you're busy looking at other things is to carry around with you a sketchbook. Mine is a little bit mashed, <laughs> as you can see, and also the paper itself is not particularly fine art paper or anything like that, but it's just something that you can chuck in your bag or your rucksack if you're a guy and you can just get it out whenever you want and you know start scribbling away it's such a handy thing to have and also you don't have to necessarily draw a masterpiece so even if you have a you know standard note paper and just a biro I always do biro sketches I absolutely love doing them and I think I I'm probably better at drawing in biro than some, you know, sort of really hard pencil. So if I've got a biro with me, then I would just scribble away any idea that I can get, you know, on a train, on a bus. So yeah, that's the first way to get some inspiration right at the beginning. If you a really good way to establish your style and to understand about styles of art is to go to an art gallery, because there you'll really be able to understand where each style comes from, the background of each artist, and you'll be able to really see their work in front of you. I know it sounds like an obvious thing, but I think that going to an art gallery is so underrated. A lot of the time we all live busy lives, we're all buried in our phones, but I think that for being an artist, it is so vital to get out there. Some of my work that I've exhibited in galleries before, this one is called uh, The Modern Prince. I had to look on the back, so it's not too not too bad. I have some more recent things in fact that I could show you that I've exhibited but I might leave that for a video about uh, showing my old art or something. <laughs> so that's one. And then I had a self-portrait which was a little bit, this is extremely heavy so I may drop it on my foot. Um, that's a sort of self-portraity sort of idea. Um, Another way to inspire yourself is to get practicing. I've been practicing quite a lot recently on some newer ideas, although they kind of are rehashed of old ideas that I've had for a while. But uh, Van Gogh, for example, if you think about his volume of work, you're thinking about maybe 900 paintings, something like that. It must have been over 900 because his mother destroyed a lot. <laughs> Good old mother. And uh, over 2,000 works, I think, artworks that he did. Monet, again, maybe 2,500, 3,000 artworks. I reckon he probably did about, I'm not sure how many paintings, maybe a thousand, maybe less, I'm not sure, but, or maybe more. He, I think, I believe he destroyed some of his works. So you get a lot of inspiration from practicing, from constantly trying out new ideas, and that can lead on to like a eureka moment where you find something that you really love and you hit upon a great idea. So yeah, don't be afraid to try out lots of different ideas and also before doing a painting if you're working with oil and you find it intimidating to go straight in there preparation planning lots of little sketches always great i mean i've been doing that quite a lot recently and also i mean this is um just a personal comment and i don't know i'm sure a lot of artists might disagree with me but i think that making your work personal particularly if you're going to exhibit it, uh, as long as it's not for a commission, like if somebody's asked you, you know, can you draw my dog or something and then you draw your own dog, like I think that would be strange. Like, that, yeah, I don't think that's the best idea. But make it personal in the sense that when you're painting your collection, when you start to build up a portfolio, 
draw, you can draw things or paint things that are personal to you, that inspire you a lot and that you want to see on a wall. Um, you know, painting things that you love will then make the process more enjoyable and you're more likely to create a larger volume of work. So I have a little speed paint at the end of this video just to show you how I sort of think out my ideas. This is really just a little acrylic, so it's not an oil painting, but it's something in preparation for an oil painting that I might do, just to kind of block out some colours, very kind of informal, and just throwing out some ideas that I had at the time. And also I've been working on just little sketches, uh, coming up with ideas. At the moment, I've been a little bit more, uh, painting a little bit more romantic, and uh, artwork inspired by the Hokoko period, uh, so 18th century, 18th century fun, uh, so lots of wigs and um, trying to bring it up to the modern day as you can see that's an iPhone, I've never did even know my, an iPhone. A lot of the uh, portraits that I do are based on my own face because it's easier because uh, I know what I look like but they don't always necessarily look like me, it's just an idea of somebody rather than um, an actual portrait of someone specific. But the eyes are always my own because I can look at my own eyes and it's easy to paint. I try to paint actually without looking at references so it becomes even more easy to do. Uh, this is a personification of animals, I absolutely love doing that. and. As always, some historical reference, we have a monocle there. And uh, yeah, so this is probably the last thing, a little, a little study that I did um, just to kind of prepare for a future world painting potentially. So I hope you find this helpful. I really um, hope you enjoyed it because finding inspiration is such a tricky thing but I know you can do it I'm <laughs> I'm here to help if you have any questions or anything please let me know down below and also uh, one final thing about going on Instagram and just putting up your work is a great idea as well